Hi guys, this is JP, your school nurse. So it's Drug Abuse Prevention and Control B. So we're going to talk about drugs and why would someone put themselves in harm's way by using dangerous drugs or substances. So there are in fact many reasons why would um, people turn to or start using drugs and the consequences can be life shattering. So why people use drugs? So generally speaking, people use drugs to escape and mask the pain they are feeling. The rush of pleasure from using drugs can provide temporary relief from pain or suffering, which can also stem to other issues including the following. 1. Trauma or Abuse Early traumatic experience or abuse may increase the risk of substance use because of the attempt to self-medicate or to numb the feeling of mood changes associated with the inability to cope up with its stress. Next is low self-esteem. People with chronic low self-esteem are vulnerable to substance abuse because they want to dull the pain or loneliness inside of them. They try to cope up with the feelings of inadequacy and they use it because they want to increase their self-worth or their self-confidence. Next is poverty. People with um, lower income are more likely to struggle with drug or alcohol abuse because worrying for how they will afford their basic needs, their shelter, their food causes a tremendous amount of stress for them. When they are struggling to make ends meet, they are tempted to turn to drugs or alcohols to temporarily escape from their problems. Next, loss of a loved one. The heartache brought by the loss of a loved one is strongly correlated to the development of substance abuse. Strong emotions and grief can cause someone to use or turn to drugs or substances or alcohols in order to forget and ignore the uncomfortable emotion being experienced. Lastly, stress. Everyone copes with stress in different ways, but some may resort to maladaptive measures which may include abusing drugs. Stress can um, increase the odds of people using drugs or alcohols as a way or mechanism to um, escape and forget. But whatever their reason for starting, once the addiction sets in, the disease usually spirals more and more out of control. How does addiction develop? It works like this. First, the brain rewards pleasurable or satisfying experiences like if you are laughing or if you are eating your favorite food or chocolate with surges of feel-good chemicals named dopamine. But using drugs triggers the release of much more dopamine than laughing or eating chocolate does. So the more someone uses drugs, the more they condition their brain to anticipate the same fuel pleasant sensations. That's why it's so difficult to stop because the brain becomes wired for addiction and eventually the tolerance may build up so much that the addictive behavior can no longer provide any pleasure and using drugs simply becomes a way to avoid withdrawal just to keep um, themselves from feeling normal. What are the effects of drug addiction? 1. Damage immune system. This may increase your susceptibility to infection. 2. Cardiovascular conditions like heart attacks and collapsed veins. 3. Nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. 4. Liver overexertion and liver failure. 5. Seizures and strokes. And lastly, widespread brain damage that can interfere with attention, memory, decision making, as well as permanent brain damage. So how do you prevent drug addiction? The best tool against um, preventing drug addiction is avoiding drugs or alcohol use in the first place. So here are steps you can follow to prevent drug or alcohol abuse. So first, avoid temptations and peer pressures. If you have friends or family members who are pressuring you to use alcohol or drugs, avoid them. Make new friends who practice healthier habits. Those who also have goals in life, those who are motivated to work, and those who do well also in school. Second, find the support you need. 
work on developing your coping skills. If you have events or experiences in the past that affect your feelings, find a reliable and healthy source of support. Don't try to self-medicate your feelings or physical discomfort. Third, practice healthier living habits. Eating well, meditation, and exercise are excellent ways to avoid using drugs and alcohol. A healthy body helps you cope with daily stress, so if you practice living healthy and managing stress, a trauma can easily be more managed. So that's all for drug abuse prevention and control. Many problems can be reversed or minimized by getting sober, but there are maybe some health or emotional issues that simply won't heal in time. So make sure to reach out for support or seek for advice if you need to. Okay, bye!